guys, it's Ariel from Fix My Books, and today I'm going to show you how to enter PayPal sales receipts into QuickBooks Online. So you only need to do this if your PayPal account is not directly linked to your QuickBooks Online account. And this method will also work for other payment processors like Stripe, Square, Moneris, Clover, basically any payment processor that takes a fee whenever they process a payment for you. So first things first, what we need to do is to create a PayPal account in QuickBooks. And you should always set up your PayPal account as a checking account. So we'll just click checking and we will call it PayPal. Now that our PayPal account is set up, the next thing we need to do is go to sales products and services, and then click new service, name it bank fees. And then the income account would be your bank charges expense account, ex inclusive of tax and the sales tax will always be zero rated. So now that we have that set up, we can start entering our sales receipts into QuickBooks. So if you can see here, this is a sample PayPal statement. The ones that say express checkout payment, those are sales. And you can see that every time it's an express checkout payment, the gross amount or the amount under the gross column will show a positive number the fee will be negative and then the net is actually what hits your PayPal account or your bank account. So to enter a sales receipt, all we're going to do is click new sales receipt and then we'll just choose a customer, say this one, and then the sales receipt date is November 4th, right? This one. And then our product or service, just say catering, the amount should be inclusive of tax. So the amount is 231.68 and then the sales tax is HSD on since our client is in Canada. And then we'll enter the bank fees over here and then negative 7.02. So whatever the fee is here, copy it. So if it's negative, you have to put the negative amount here as well. And then you can see the net is 224.66 and the amount received is 224.66. So we will deposit it, this into our PayPal account and click save and close. And then let's check out our PayPal account. It's there. You can see that deposit is the net amount and not the gross amount. Again, this is what will show up in your bank account, the net amount. Next, let's do another sales receipt for this one right here, November 5th. And let's just say the next client is Kathy's Consulting Company product or service, let's say they had an employee celebration and the amount was, make sure it's inclusive of tax, 515.67 and the sales tax again is HSD on because this client is in Canada and the bank fees is negative 15.25. So you can see here the net amount is 500.42 and the amount we received is also 500.42. You can click save and then let's check out our PayPal account. So you can see here that the deposit is 500.42 as well. And this is our PayPal balance so far. So again, this will work with Stripe, Square or any other payment processors. You will see that it's all laid out like this. If you see a Stripe statement or a Square statement, you'll see that there's like a gross amount and then a fee and then the net amount. And the net amount is what you received. So if you enter it this way in QuickBooks, it will be correct. So don't worry about it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more accounting tutorial videos, please make sure that you hit the notification bell so you get updates whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much. 
Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books.